Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News in Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a power outage update, an extension of last night's update. Currently, 3 million people in the U.S. without power, and that number is rapidly increasing. The biggest hit is Texas. 2.8 million currently without power, and rolling blackouts will continue through midweek. Oregon also 320,000 up about 70,000 from last night. Washington state has some outages, 120,000 outages in Virginia as this storm starts to move in to the east, 12,000 in West Virginia, 11,000 in Kentucky, 25,000 in North Carolina. And these numbers will be increasing here. Major outage now happening in Mississippi with over 50,000 without power, but Texas, the nexus of the Schmexis, 2.8 million could be a record breaking power outages and it's ongoing and will be increasing as rotating outages likely to last through Tuesday, ERCOT says. New winter peak. And this update as as of now, 11 a.m., rotating outages will continue through Monday, perhaps Tuesday. Electric Reliability Council of Texas Senior Director Tam Woodfin, Dan Woodfin said, in a media call Monday. The Arctic blast has led to unprecedented demand power, and while some power sources have been knocked offline due to freezing temperatures, between 7 and 8 p.m. Sunday, the state saw a new winter peak demand of 69,222 megawatts of power. Demand has stayed high since then. Woodfin explained that ERCOT deems how much power each regional transmission owner like CPS Energy needs to cut in order to stay active. And it's not working out very well with currently almost 3 million people in Texas without power, and there is still more on the way. Massive winter storm with major to extreme impacts will continue for the next 48 hours. A massive storm will lift from the southern plains and the northeast through Tuesday with snow, sleet, and freezing rain. Expected significant travel disruptions, power outages, we just saw that. Severe weather is also expected with this storm in parts of Georgia and Florida. Meanwhile, Arctic tear air and frigid temperatures and dangerous wind chills will dop, dip down all the way down into Texas and Mexico. So an ongoing event, very dangerous. Maybe some people will rethink wood burning stoves in some of these regions because it's only beginning. There's another event right behind this that's going to wallop the same regions that just got walloped. And we can't make this up. We warned about it four years ago to get you prepared. And now we, we said we're going to report on it as it occurs, and it's occurring now. Power outages exceeding 3 million in the U.S. and increasing rapidly. We will update you as the storm progresses. But currently there is 2.8 million people without power. Check on your neighbors. Make sure everyone is safe and warm. There are a lot of people in harm's way during this event, and it is ongoing and it will be continuing for at least 48 more hours as this storm moves east and is replaced by its nemesis right on its doors, which will then start Thursday in the same regions. Another winter event will be moving through. Share this with like-minded people. Find backup ways to heat your home and prepare for situations like this that will be inevitable as we move forward. Be safe.